Hi, and welcome to this edition of Worldwide Wide-Eyed. Everybody knows that the best olive oil in the world comes from Italy. Uh, everybody except some Spaniards, Greeks, Moroccans, some Frenchmen, and one guy in California. But everybody else knows that the best olive oil in the world comes from Italy. And most of that oil comes from Puglia. Puglia has 60 million olive trees. 60 of those trees are on a little property in the village of Marinelli near the town of Cisternino um, called Villa Tutto. Villa Tutto is the place that Jessica and I chose to be our home. And we so looked forward to our first olive harvest. We asked Andrea, um, a man of senior years in, in Puglia and a good friend, as well as being our mentor in all things agricultural, to help us with our first harvest. Unfortunately, just before we began to pick, Andrea hurt his neck, which required that he wear a foam collar around his neck. So he was unable to actually do the picking. Uh, but he would be there to help guide us and, and teach us. So the morning of the harvest, we, we ran to the ferramenta and we bought um, uh, all of the things uh, that, that the Olive Harvesting Equipment Manufacturers Association said we would need to harvest our olives. And just to be sure, we, we bought two of everything. So we returned home and, and spread out all of our new toys and, and anxious, anxiously awaited Andrea's arrival so that we could begin the process of picking the olives. I'm sure that if we had tails, they would have been wagging at the time. And when Andrea pulled up uh, and, and got out of his car, he took one look at us, and we must have looked like this. The, he, he began to laugh so hard, I. I thought his head was going to fall off, and I know to this day that it was only the collar around his neck that kept it on. But we persuaded uh, Andre to calm down, and we sat him in, in the chair that overlooked the olive grove so that he could supervise our work. And his supervisory work began immediately when he told us how ineptly we were spreading the nets out under the trees, the nets that would catch the olives. Apparently, we weren't overlapping the nets correctly. We, we also were, were being uh, infantile in the way we wrapped the nets around the base of the tree. And we were completely incompetent in terms of spreading the nets far enough to catch the olives, to the point where Andrea finally had had enough, got up out of his chair, and took over the entire operation. He found a, a stick about the the size of a, the girth of a broomstick and about a meter long. And as Jessica and I took our little rakes and raked the olives down into the, uh, into the nets at about the pace that a guy sleeping off a bad drunk would drool, Andrea in the meantime was beating the, the, the olives out of the trees with this stick. They were raining down so hard I thought I'd have to build an ark. Um, it was, a, it was a clear case of competence versus incompetence. But at the end of the harvest, we had, um, we had collected over 1,300 pounds of olives. Andrea carted uh, the olives off to the Frantoio. Frantoio is a, a, a community press where the, uh, all of the people in the area would bring their olives uh, during the season and have them, have them pressed. And um, they were immediately weighed. The stems and uh, leaves were separated and discarded. The olives were washed. And they went into this, uh, uh, this, this container where three huge granite wheels went around and around, crushing the olives into a, into a paste. That paste was spread onto fiber discs like uh, like, like something uh, uh, Goliath would play uh, in Agata de Vida on, the big, big discs uh, with, a, with a hole in the middle. These were then stacked under a, 
a hydraulic press. And when the press was engaged, it began to force the oil out of the olive paste and the, the most beautiful gold green crystals of, of olive oil would drop down into a collecting vessel. The only thing left to do was to take a piece of crusty bread, dip it into the brand new freshly pressed oil and taste the most incredible, beautiful, piquant flavor you've ever experienced in your life. That's the story of our first olive harvest. We have many more stories about our, our uh, adventures and misadventures in Italy. And if you'd like to read more of them, pick up your copy of Soul of the Heel at Amazon.com. As always, thanks for joining us at Worldwide Wide-Eyed. See you around the world. Mm -hmm.